Welcome back drinks fans. I am Steve the Barman and I'm all about giving you drinks and cocktail inspiration around your favorite brand so you can make better drinks and cocktails at home. In today's video, I'm starting to rock out some chocolate cocktails. Uh, I'm gonna be showcasing, featuring uh, Mozart. I've got three of their um, chocolate liqueurs to focus on today's video. I'm going for the dark chocolate. So I've got three banging, amazing cocktails uh, with the dark chocolate to come. Uh, I've also got their sort of normal uh, milk chocolate or cream, whatever you wanna call it. And I've got their white chocolate and vanilla as well. Uh, I do really love Mozart, to be honest. I have been uh, using Bouvery. Do that, you know, that is still the pinnacle, but it's been, I've got a bit of supply issues at the moment, uh, but it is a lovely, a lovely, uh, it's kind of expensive, but it is worth it. However, these are kind of half the price. So I'm just gonna be focusing on these. Uh, as always, there will be chapters uh, at the bottom so you can just scrub through to your, your favorite cocktail of what you wanna see. You don't have to listen to me waffle on for all the length of time, just scrub through. And as always, if you love me, if you love this video, smash that like button, that'll help me grow the channel, reach more people as well. So hit that like button, right? Cocktail number one. I'm starting off with a dark chocolate, I've got my notes in front of me, dark chocolate and orange kind of old fashioned sort of style, rum fashioned, that's what I'm kind of going for. Uh, and I'll be honest, I've not tried any of these three yet. I've just kind of played about, written the cocktails down. Uh, so we're just gonna go from there to see how it goes. So uh, dark chocolate and uh, orange uh, kind of old fashioned. It's gonna get stirred down, obviously. Uh, the first ingredient I'm gonna go for, actually I'm gonna start to rock out some of these uh, spiced rums and that that I've kind of been up on that shelf that I've brought down here. I'm gonna use uh, one of my all time favorite spiced rums actually. This is Karasimbi. Um, they love them because they help gorillas for every, I think it's a pound per bottle uh, they send to the Gorilla Foundation in uh, Africa. I forget which country it is now. Probably tell me on the back here somewhere. But Karasimbi, uh, does it say? Wherever Mount Karasimbi is, uh, I forget where it is. Anyway, uh, the thing with this spiced rum, the why I love it so much, it's uh, kind of cinnamon, ginger, blood orange, and a hint of uh, vanilla in a demerara run. So it's absolutely stunning. I love this. So I am going 50 ml double bubble of this uh, kind of spiced rum. Oh, it's just so good. The orange, oh, the orange notes on there, the vanilla, the cinnamon it is honestly, it is lovely. Really, really love that. Uh, so I'm going, I'm, ooh, lid's already off. I'm then going 25 mil of uh, my dark chocolate liqueur. There we go. So that's in there. It's not kind of, the, the milk one is kind of, um, the milk chocolate, it's kind of like cream, like Bailey's kind of thing. But the dark one is just kind of a really, a thicker, not, not much thicker, but a thicker like cacao, if you like. Let's leave that there. Now in traditional style, uh, old fashioned have got a um, slight bit of sugar element to them as well. So another new product I'm gonna rock out is this uh, Funkin's Oleo Saccharum. Now, Oleo Saccharum, if you don't know what they are, they are kind of traditionally sugar syrups uh, made up with the zest of a lemon. So it's that essential oils uh, and that. As I say, traditionally lemon. However, uh, the Funkin's Oleo Saccharum is actually with orange peel. And it just kind of gives this lovely sort of, not sherbet, but like really kind of, it just smells like liquid um, orange peel. That's what it does. So I'm just going at fifth, I'm gonna do 10 mil actually. I've written 15 mil down there, but I'm gonna do 10 mil and we'll go from there. And then bitters, um, I've, I've written down bitters. I'm actually gonna go orange bitters, but I'm gonna spritz them afterwards. So normally I would go Angostura bitters, but I'm gonna spritz the glass with uh, orange bitters now. So uh, all we need to do now is stir down. So I'm just gonna whack some ice in there and then that'll do it for the time being, Let's get rid of that. Uh, so I'm gonna stir this uh, for about 30 seconds or so and then add some more ice, just build it. And my traditional rule of thumb is stir it until I've doubled uh, the amount of liquid in the glass. Right, there we go. So I've topped it up, been going for just over a minute or so. Topped up with a bit more ice. We've doubled the quantities. Right, serve this up. I'm going for my lovely kind of uh, rocks glass there. I'm gonna do this properly. So I'm gonna put fresh ice in there. If you've got a big ice cube, that'll do. Uh, and now I'm just gonna single strain this over the top there. Right. So remember, there's no bitters in there at all at the moment. 
I'll just pop that there for a second. And as I say, I've got my Miss Betters Bitters Orange Tree uh, Bitters here. I get rid of the uh, pipettes. I actually love these as spritzes. So I'm going for perhaps two, there we go, two spritzes over the top. Lovely bit of orange in there. And now I'm not going to bother with the straw. Could garnish it up with another sort of, I've got a dehydrated orange there. But then, and there we go. So uh, dark chocolate and orange uh, kind of rum fashioned. That, that is magical. <laughs> oh, wow. That is, oh, got to crack on and do some more cocktail. The bitter chocolate, the orange notes from that, from the rum, a little subtle hint of ginger in there as well. That is absolutely lovely. I love that. Possibly one of my all time favorite uh, old fashioned or rum fashions, if you like. Amazing. Well, then let's cock on. Uh, cock on? <laughs> Where did that come from? Let's, let's crack on for it with uh, cocktail number two. <laughs> oh, I like that. I don't know. I'm keeping that one in. Uh, this one is going to be uh, kind of a chocolate and cherry uh, kind of serve. And I'm going to do this. These all kind of, there's no cream involved in these ones. I think the cream might have to come out with the, when I do that one. We do this sort of. Um, I forget what they're called now, they're like screaming orgasms and all that sort of stuff. I forget what, what it's called. What's it called? What am I thinking of? What am I thinking of? The mudslide, there we go. Uh, right, uh, so this one, chocolate and cherry, is gonna get done in a, sh in a shaker. Uh, this is gonna be a whiskey based one. I'm going Jack Daniels. Uh, I'm going 50 mil of uh, Jack Daniels in here. Or your favorite um, bourbon. I've been looking at, this is actually inspired because I've been looking at the Jim Beams. Jim Beam have just released a peach over here in the UK. And I kind of, I've, Jim Beam Red Stag was one of my favorites and I kind of got lost in Red Stag sort of cocktails the other day. Um, so expect to see those soon. Anyway, so 50 mil of um, uh, Jack Daniels, your American whiskey. Uh, I'm going 25 mil of this dark chocolate. As I say, it's, it's, um, it's not nowhere near as thick as the Bouvray. It's a different kind of chocolate as well. But as I say, it's kind of loosely based on a cacao. It's just a bit thicker cacao, which is absolutely uh, lovely. Right, and then uh, two more ingredients to come, which I've got. I've had to swap around. There we go. I'm going for my cherry liqueur, cherry hearing. Uh, and I'm just going 15 ml of this. So this is going to be my cherry. There we go. Now, there's a little bit of sweetness in there, but I just want to add just a tiny, tiny little bit more sweetness. Uh, I'm going to have some fun with this. So I'm going for my Orgeat or uh, syrup. So my almond proper. So it's an almond syrup with uh, vanilla and orange uh, flower water in there. Uh, and I'm just going for, I'm going to, I'm going to go, oh, I nearly bang on the money, seven and a half mil. There we go. I was toying with five mil, I was toying with 10 mil, but we got went right in the middle, seven and a half mil. Because as I say, that cherry hearing's quite sweet anyway. Um, and I just want a touch just to balance it out. So that's it. There's some bitters to come, which I'll do in a second, but I'm just going to ice this down and then obviously shake it. And if I haven't mentioned, as always, if you're new to these, uh, the videos, uh, the recipes will be in the description below. So just scroll down there. If you want to come up with names for these as well, just whack in a name, you know. I said, what, what do we call that? Dark chocolate and orange, uh, rum fashioned, chocolate and cherry, you know. Come up with some names, stick them in the comments below. Right, half fast shake, 10, 12 seconds. Right, there we go. Lovely. Oh, that's smelling good, that's smelling good. Right, I'm going to double strain this into my Nick and Nora glass. We're doing that one. And this bit is coming in a second. It's a double strain. Bang, bang on, perfect. Look at this. See, chocolate doesn't have to be all thick and gloopy and creamy and calorific. You can have a ton of fun. A ton of fun with that, right. Let's just pop that to one side there. We've got a tiny bit left in there. Waste not, whatnot. There we go. Right. Now, for this, I, I'm going chocolate bitters, and as I say, again, I've got my little spritz bottle, my little spritz cap on top. You could just pop it in there, you know, it's fun, but I just love spritzing. So, uh, I'm just going, there we go, I'm just going a couple of uh, little spritzes of chocolate, there we go, just on top. 
Con like some cherry bitters. That would have been kind of fun. I need to get I need to get some more flavoured bitters, don't I? He says, he says, oh rhubarb, what we got? I'm down here, I'm down here. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? It's a blast from the past. I've got some uh, Fay Brothers cherry bitters. Should have. Might have to put them in spritz bottles. Might have to. Forgot about them. Right, taste. Oh, do you know what? That is magically balanced. That is not as sweet as you might think because that is quite bitter. Obviously, you've got the whiskey in there as well. You've just got that ever so subtle hint of almond with the cherry in there. <laughs> Forgot to garnish, didn't I? Oh, I can't be bothered. But garnish with like a little maraschino cherry or something like that if you wanted to over there. Oh, I've got to save that for the photo. Save it. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Right then, the third one coming up now. This is also another rocks glass. Let's go for that one, I think, for the time being. I've got some, I don't know. Oh, no, let's, let's go there. Let's go that one. There we go. Let's go that one. Julep glass. Right. This is imaginatively, imaginatively titled uh, Dark Chocolate and Ginger. I just kind of thought of my favourite sort of chocolate bars, what I love, and, you know, the posh chocolate bars with fruit and ginger and stuff, and I think these work. So, uh, going back to whiskey again, this is going to come in two parts, because uh, I kind of want a little subtle hint of um, something coming in a second. So, uh, I'm going 25ml of Jack Daniels. That's the first ingredient. I'm going 25ml of cinnamon. I didn't want to use, because this is quite sweet, and I didn't want a whole 50 mil, mil of this, so I just wanted 25. And I think that'll work perfectly, 25 and 25. There we go. So, uh, got cinnamon. If you've got a cinnamon liqueur, that would that would work as well. Blaze of cinnamon liqueur, to be fair. Right, so 25 and 25. I'm going 15 mil of uh, my dark chocolate. Oh, this is amazing to work with. Love it, love it, love it. This takes cacao to a whole new level. Wow. I haven't used Mozart for 10, 12, 12 years or so. I uh, used to use it all the time, but they had a, a chocolate and orange one, and maybe a butterscotch one at some point, but that's going back years ago. Right, uh, more booze, more booze. There is King's Ginger. Uh, so ginger. I'm going 15 mil of King's Ginger as well. This is quite a potent ginger liqueur. We love that. And then the final ingredient for this is just some bitters. Um, you know, I, I, I always show you them, but I always actually use mine, which is Ms. Better's Bitters, uh, my aromatic bitters. And I've even got my Payshaw to my, my Jerry Thomas and all that easy to hand these days. Oh, see, this whole new sort of set thing at the side here. Right, I'm going three dashes. Uh, one... A bit more, two, that'll do, three. Three dashes of aromatic bitters. Right, um, and there's no mixer or anything in that at all. That's just how it's staying. Um, I'm gonna ice that up and we're gonna give it a shake. There we go. Right, hard fast shake, 10, 12 seconds. There we go. When you are happy with that, you could use uh, fresh ice in there if you wanted to. I'm just gonna do a whole shake and dump thing going on there. Uh, top it up with a bit more ice. And then the garnish I was thinking of, again, I'll be honest, I only came up with these uh, last night. Candied ginger, excuse me. Candied ginger would be the obvious one to put with that as well. But I haven't got any of that, so uh, I've got I've got another dehydrated orange there. But there we go. So, uh, chocolate and ginger. That is really good. My recipe in front of me, that's kind of, I was kind of double checking there before I sh shook it. I did write sh um, sugar down. But I think the sweetness going around from that and the ginger, I don't think you need sugar in that at all. You could add a tiny bit. That is truly divine. That takes chocolate cocktails to a whole different level. 
I love that, that is amazing. So there we go, let me know what you think of them in the comments below. Uh, if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe uh, this to this channel, especially give me a big old thumbs up. Uh, hit me up in the DMs on Instagram if you've got any questions and I will see you in the very next video.